We actually made lots of money out of the short-term training programs. You heard Maggie talk about this yesterday. We were out there training and we now use that money for short-term training to improve the school. And I remember I invested my first 260,000 shillings in all this to be able to succeed. I put in my money, but I don't regret because we really made lots of money after that. That creates problems in Makerebe. I've learned that success breeds envy. Whenever you succeed, some people are going to envy you. Some positively, others negatively. There are those who say, I want to be like you, you know, genuinely. Others want to pull you down. So as a young man in Makerere, making so much money, there are some cartoons of me carrying wheelbarrows of money. And the vice chancellor carrying a few pencils. I started earning more than the vice chancellor from 1992. I think I was the best paid uh, person in, in universities. But we generated so much money, you know, that it changed the Makerere. We, we did, those of you who were in that red brick precast building, we improved it. Uh, we, there were no doors, there were no things like that. We put all these things in there. But what was the problem? Change is very difficult. And most of the change effort fails. We started an MBA program also. Our target was uh, 22 people, break even. We did 27. Today we actually admit about 150 and we cut it. We don't take everybody who applies, even who passes, because it's too big. So we, we started the BBA, the, and as I said, we made lots of money. And two things happened. One, the Minister of Education then, Amanya Mshega, came to see what we were doing. And he told me, I'm going to give you a bigger place. It seems you can grow very quickly. So he decided to take us to Nakao. So in 1997, he creates MOOPs. In 1998, we moved to Nakao. That's, that was one thing happening. The second one was that there was resistance within the university to change. You know, Makere is very conservative, up to now, very conservative. And you needed a big brother to survive in Makere. I didn't have one because I didn't study there. So I could uh, put my thumb with somebody's nose without fear. You know, when you have a good father, as people tend to say, don't do that, don't do that. But me, I didn't know how Makere works. I wanted to do my things, and uh, I could go through a war if it meant that. You know? Within five years, when I became dean, I had 220 students in the Bachelor of Commerce. Within five years, we had about 1,000 students. We turned out to become, I think, the second largest faculty from the smallest. We got to Nakawa with 1,000 degree students today, approximately 20,000. <laughs> Phenomenal growth. As you grow, you make enemies. Many enemies. I must also tell you something a little bit that uh, the president, as I told you yesterday, is my friend, so don't talk bad about him, irrespective of whatever he has done. But uh, we have some family linkage. The father of my mother was a friend of the president. So he's even stayed in that home, you know. So I don't use that for my advantage. But when he learned that they were trying to throw me out of my career, he sent somebody to investigate. And um, actually, that's when he created the school. So he supported me when they wanted to chase me out of my career. Now, one of the challenges, and something very important for you in your career as a leader, as a manager, is to understand finance. Very, very important. Try and understand finance. We have a course called Finance for Non-Finance Managers. It's very important because one day the Vice Chancellor calls me with his top team 
and they are accusing me of things I didn't do because they didn't understand financial management. So they were embarrassed when I told them, no, that's not true. What you are saying is not true. It, that didn't happen. But they thought they had got me. So it's very important for you as you go up to understand a bit about financial management. <coughs> You, know, you had uh, Maggie talk about profit and loss account, didn't understand what they were, and she was a shareholder. You know, she took over family fortunes. <laughs>